Hi guys, welcome to the second part of the video series. I hope you are all doing well. In this part of the video series we will see how to do UV unwrapping of this dagger weapon model in Autodesk Maya. So let's get started. So here we are in Maya. In the previous video we have seen how to create the model, and now let's start with the UV unwrapping of this model. Let's start with this blade part. Select the mesh and isolate it. Now I will open the UV editor in another panel. So click on panels, then under panel menu choose UV editor. Now then, go to UV, and choose planar mapping option box. Over here, choose Z-axis, and then apply. Then go to Edge Mode, and select the corner edge loop. Then go to UV Editor, and then hold Shift, right-click, and choose, Cut. And now from the UV Editor, go to UV Mode, drag and select all the UVs, then hold Shift, right-click, go to Unfold, again Unfold. Now then rotate these UV shells and make them straight horizontally. Then hold Shift, right-click, and choose Layout, then Layout UV. Go to Object Mode, then select the object, and turn on the checker texture to see the distribution of the UVs. It's looking good. Now turn off the checker texture, and then add this object to the layer, then turn off the visibility of the layer. Now then, unhide the other parts. Let's do the unwrap for this part. Select this part, and isolate it. Then go to UV, and select Planar Mapping Option Box. Over here, select Z-axis and click on Apply. Go to Edge Mode, select this edge loop, Shift select this one as well, then go to UV Editor, and Cut. And then, select all the UV shell, and then unfold them. Now then rotate these UV shells and make them straight horizontally. After that, select all the UV shells and lay out them. And now, turn on Checker Texture to see the distribution of the UVs. It's looking good. Now then, do the same process for the rest of the parts of the model. Now over here, select these edges, then hold shift right click and choose move and sew edges. Do the same over here, for both the sides, and then again unfold them. And now, since these objects are duplicates of each other, I will unfold only one object and then transfer the UV attributes on rest of them. Once the unwrapping is done for one object, shift select the other one, then go to mesh, and choose transfer attributes option box. Now over here, I will reset the settings, then choose topology, and turn off color sets, and everything else will be as default, then click on apply. As you can see the UV attributes have been successfully transferred on the other object. And now, shift select the other objects one by one, and apply transfer attributes on them. After that, turn on the visibility of all the objects, drag and select all of them, then go to edit and delete the history. It is very important to delete the history after using transfer attributes, otherwise it may get crash. 
Now then, go to UV mode, select all the UV shells, and then lay out them. And then arrange the UV shells according to your convenience. So while arranging the UVs, I realized that I forgot to make one part of the model as per the reference image. So I made this part with the help of a cube, giving some divisions and adjusting the vertices accordingly. Then delete the unwanted back faces. After that I duplicated the same on the other side. And then unwrap the UVs for those parts as well. And another thing is that, if I isolate this blade portion, you can see, I have cut out the middle portion of the UVs, because I wanted to give a different texture on those parts. It will help me to select these parts easily while texturing if I keep them separately. And that's it. You can arrange your UV shells as per your choice, which will help you in selecting different parts while texturing. The UV unwrapping part is complete now. In the next video we will do the texturing of this model in Substance Painter. Stay tuned for the next video. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.